Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And there are loads of cool announcements this week, including updates to the Solutions Architect Associate and Big Data Specialty Certification exams. There's also a brand new database specialty certification. AWS launched a new service called AWS IQ. AWS Client VPNs now support multi-factor authentication for Active Directory. And we announced the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Cronenberg. So in March 2020, there's going to be a new updated version of the Certified Solutions Architect Associate exam. And the new exam will go through a beta phase before it's officially launched, and you'll be able to take the beta version between the 4th and the 29th of November this year. And we don't know what's going to be included in the exam yet, but I will be going to be taking the beta exam as soon as it comes available, and I'll let you know what I think. And if you take any beta version of the exam, you don't actually get your exam results immediately. You normally have to wait about 90 days or so to find out. But if you do pass, then you will be certified. However, if you fail, they will still give you a voucher to retake the exam for free. So there's going to be an updated version of the Big Data Specialty Certification. They're actually renaming this cert to the Data Analytics Specialty. And a new exam guide is now available, and the new exam will be in beta from December the 2nd until the 10th of January, with the updated exam expected to be released in April 2020. And don't worry if you've already started studying for either the current Solutions Architect Associate or the current Big Data Specialty exam. Both the current versions will still be available until the new exams launch next year. So there's also a brand new specialty certification on the way called the Database Specialty. And this is going to be heavily focused on the database design, deployment and migration, management and operations, monitoring, troubleshooting and security. And this exam will be in beta from November the 25th until January the 10th. And we're expecting the new certification to be officially launched in April 2020. So this week, AWS have launched a new service called AWS IT. And this is a great new service which enables you to find AWS certified experts to work on your projects, for example, to design, build and configure your AWS infrastructure and pay them through your AWS account. So it's a bit like AWS Marketplace, allowing you to buy professional services from AWS certified individuals. Right now, you can only engage in experts located in the United States, but they are working on allowing experts from all around the world as well. So AWS Client VPN now supports multi-factor authentication for Active Directory. And if you're not familiar with Client VPN, it's a fully managed virtual private network which allows you to securely access your AWS infrastructure from your own on-premise network or data center. And this new announcement means that you can now use MFA for any Client VPN connections authenticated using Active Directory. And this is a great new feature because it gives you an added layer of security when authenticating Client VPN connections. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was B. And the person with the best answer is Seth Hurley, who is a solutions architect working for Cortopia in the United States. So congratulations, Seth. There's an Acloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand sign card on the way to you in the post. And you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent for 2020. So please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our forum. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.